Hi guys, hello and welcome to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about user-defined functions and forms and how you can dynamically create form elements from PHP. In this example, I created a function by the name of make text input. This function is receiving three variables, name, label, and size, and these are the three parameters. The label parameter is used to create the label of the form element. The name parameter is being used to create the name of the text box. And the size element is used to determine the size of the text box. Also, if you notice, I concatenated this statement with the value, but also have an if condition in between. The reason I wrote this if condition is that if somebody clicks on the submit button from line number 27, the form will be submitted back to the same page. So when this form is submitted back to the same page, I want the values in the text boxes to be preserved so that the person can see the values that have already been typed. So therefore, I'm checking to see, first of all, if the name, which is the name of the text box, if it is submitted, which is held inside the post object, then I want to grab its value and put it into the value property of the HTML form element. And then I want to close it. When you are running this form for the first time, then this if condition will be false and nothing will be available to you in the text box. So now inside the form, um, open and close tag, we have a PHP code in which I'm calling make text input three times. First time I'm calling with first name as the name of the text box, first name with a space as the label to display and the size. Second time with a last name, third time with an email address. Now let me run this for you so that you can see how it can dynamically produce text boxes on the fly. And here you can see first name with the size 20, last name with the size 30, and email address with the size 50. If I put some values in here, let's Saad, Yusuf, and And now if I hit register, it gets posted back to the same page and the values are preserved. If I right click to view the source of this page, you can see in the source of this page that the values that I submitted are preserved. See the value is Saad and for the last name, the value is Yusuf and for the email address, the value is the one that I provided. Okay, let me close this and let me run it again on server. And now let me show you the view source so that you can see by default, the value property doesn't exist for any one of my text boxes. Only when I hit the submit button, the, which is called register after I enter the value, only then the values come live. So I hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the tutorial. Till the next one, guys, take care. Bye-bye.